day three here at Chapel Head in Cambridgeshire, and the sun's oh, no, out. Farmer, Looks man. like we found our medieval chapel. Hello, Tony. Everything's oh, rosy, got a new hat. except it looks like our prehistoric story has completely fallen to pieces. Yesterday we Ooh, thought we had a tractor. Bronze Age ditch all the way round our mound, but now it's turned out to be medieval. Which means that basically your last two days has been a complete waste of time, hasn't it, Francis? Well, yeah, you could say that, Tony. But we know that this yeah, Tony, site had a lot shape, of prehistoric finds on it. These two fine axes. We've got Bronze Age pottery. We've got lots of Neolithic flints. You've even got a Mesolithic flint. It looks like a man um, from the Blair but, Witch Project. Know, these things weren't dropped out of the beak of a, of a low-flying <laughs> heron. You know, they had to have been put here by people. So what are you going to do to try and establish yeah, like what Tony's prehistoric out. Look, there look at there. Well, I'm going to start somewhere on the crown of this hill. Because if I'd been a Bronze Age person and I had to bury my well, I think you're more than Bronze Age. in a barrow on the top of this hill. It's a very, very commanding place. Oh, no. Hey, oh, no, I so, with only a day it left, this is his hat to look at. He's oh, bloody hell, I'm just excited now. Stuart, they're finding things there. What is he doing? Stuart searching for prehistoric morning. features in the landscape. Stuart's equivalent of dowsing. <laughs> and Tracy's exposing a bit more of the enclosure oh, where she that. found Bronze Age pottery yesterday. Oh, now what we've got there. And John's look, come up with a striking there. geophysical anomaly, which he thinks is worth a punt. Okay, that's that one. That beat it. Oh, it's fun, man. Our big success has been revealing our medieval chapel, Hello. which is now looking a tad more complicated than we were expecting. Faye's found two walls in the west and a series of round pits. We've got one here, we've got one over there, yeah. one over there, and possibly also something else happening over here. Some of these pits really do look rather round, don't they? They do, they look like don't they? They've got these kind of dark, they? round splodges. One theory is these could be pits from a bell tower. Why would you need pits in a bell tower? Because it's somewhere for the ropes for the bells to go into. So oh, this could dude, be something be really that, exciting, no. a bell tower <laughs> on the end of our chapel. Uh -huh. That would be nice to find, wouldn't it? would be it? fantastic. Ooh, we don't want to believe bells in there. Let me break it. <laughs> the sound of the bell could have echoed across the fens, summoning people to prayer. But it's more common on a parish church than a private chapel. <laughs> oh, is that right, love? Oh, love. Oh, that farmer, and Phil's man. expanding the east end to trace the wall line he oh, found farmer. yesterday, which might be a chancel or an apse. Just get a little bit more curvature. That will be enough to prove it one way or the other. Are you, are you other. prepared for a straight curvature? A straight curvature. I don't like straight curvature. <laughs> I like curvy curvature. <laughs> a curve would mean an apse and prove that this was once an important church. Mm -hmm. I think that is a wall. Which is pretty something. Earlier, we put a trench in across this geophysical anomaly. Yeah, we put John a trench a over there. It might be something prehistoric. I think what we've got is an in situ burnt Watland Dorb structure. Well, that is. I mean, if you look at some of this stuff that's in the, in the tray, I mean, look at that. Oh, oh what's that's that? That's fantastic. Ooh. You can really Ooh, see now there you can see that's the walls rock. are burnt it's, out of the that, dorb. That's burnt. And look at burnt. that face. Oh, it's I mean, burnt. That, that's a wall. Interesting thing is, I got yes. Ian to put um, a little box in at the end of the trench just to see where the natural was. And the natural was about another six inches or so down. I mean, this could be standing about a foot high. Yeah, it could well be. I mean, it's unheard of because like, you know, normally all you get is like a beam slot or a few post holes, but this looks like oh, the actual no, that's not a post remains hole. of the timber structure <laughs> in situ. Medieval? I would that's, guess so. I mean, it's got to be medieval earlier if it's what the door, doesn't it? <laughs> it could be a pretty big structure. I mean, we've taken the trench through Well, there. I don't know about that. We haven't got no timber structure. That way and 10 metres this way. I mean, it could be a long house or something. Where? Well, look, I'm going to get some blooming fish and chips. A long was a farm building housing both humans and animals. Oh, now is that a tent? And one should be easy to date, as it would be full of pottery finds. Oh, no, that's out of date, that one is. would probably be pretty barren. Oh, it's a sheep, look. This kind of building usually only survives as <laughs> post holes, but what's extraordinary here is that fire has actually preserved the clay in the walls. Oh my god, that's all a blooming barbecue, look. You want sausages, love? <laughs> Unfortunately, at the top of the mound, Max drawn a blank in his search Oh no, look, I'm going to have no barren. blooming lawn left, look. look. Like I thought we might have something here, like that. You know what do you do? You've got the reason why there's no archaeology at the top of the hill. These things, mm -hmm. 
are the subsoil furrows right. that the farmer left here, and that's why the archaeology has just been churned up mm. and destroyed. Oh, well, I don't know about that, love. It was a lot of work to find a few plough marks, but at least we now know why there's nothing at the top Go of the Go on, now, look at that. That's what you call blooming old. The upside look. of the ploughing so is that it's turned over a lot of masonry, which looks like it's come from the chapel. Now, now, what about this column? I now, I am, I am often released that this is one. You can actually I got really a good grip on that, look. I know it looks slightly different in, in, in colour, but that's just the, the lichen, isn't it? Yes. The, the size is... It's, it's well, I know, she good. looks... Uh, also, what she looks the old size, look, it's, don't it's she? It's completely round. It's not being built into a wall. Yeah. It's obviously not architectural, is it? No. Well, I know, love. I'm pretty, pretty sure you can use that scene in your spare time, don't you, love? Even the supports for a maybe. Yeah, it'd be ideal for a font. It's the right height, roughly. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I bet this you. Would have been a pretty posh <laughs> font. Bet you could find some for that. For our chapel being a parish church for the surrounding community. Those are actually just, just shows a vague mark. And to add weight to this theory, Phil thinks he can just see an apse coming through. Do you see that that orangey gravel? Look at these bits of orangey gravel. Wow. They're just the same as the gravel that's in this main in the main foundation trenches. Wow. It's going to be painstaking no. work to find out if this really is an axe. Well, look at the farmer man digging. But they say the patience it. is a virtue, and Helen's hard work on the lead seal we found yesterday has paid off. We, we used a bit of electronic trickery by scanning it. Well, that weird and woman, that Tony. Yeah. And from that, well, you, can, Tony. you can see quite well <laughs> that there's. Well, the N is a bit hard to see, but then the A, the L, the D, G, I, S is quite clear. But we're well, missing the top half there, of love. it Look. here. Well, so I drew that out to see how much room we had left. And there's only two <laughs> names, really, that, that end in Nald. There's Reginald and there's Arnold. There just isn't room for Reggie here, so no, I've, I've put in R... Which gives us room for the S as well. F, Seal F, of F for Arnold. F for Faggot. <laughs> and then the GIF could be two surnames, either Giffen or Gifford. So if there is an Arnold Gifford or Arnold Giffen out there who's lost their seal, how old would he be by now? Oh, about seven, eight hundred. Hey, Tony. Uh, yeah. hey, Tony. <laughs> when Arnold dropped his seal, the manor was owned oh. by the infirmer of Ramsey Abbey, who was responsible for the sick and elderly monks. Nope, Meanwhile, gone. there's good news back on the mound, where Francis's desperate search for a prehistoric settlement is finally getting somewhere. Francis, can I come in your trench? Yeah, sure, Tony. Oh, that sounds this a bit rude, doesn't it? <laughs> is what we've been calling the Bronze Age oh, settlement ditch, isn't it? <laughs> That's right, yes. Is it Bronze Age and is it settlement? Yes, I think it's both Bronze Age and a settlement. Well, mate, quite rude, uh, I think it's Bronze Age. No, you can't come in my two ditch. good pieces of Bronze Age pottery out of it there. Don't you bet. And then we've been getting burning and burnt bone and possible <laughs> cremation, but I'm not sure, out of it down there. So that's that, yeah, that looks like settlement to me. Um, but this ditch here, which cuts through it, this darker one. This shadow along here, yeah. That's the one, yeah. Now, this ditch is part of a large rectangular well, enclosure which goes uh, right across leader. the top of Don't the site. Don't ruin my ditch, all. I put my blooming tractor in there. That tile from <laughs> quite close to the top in that dark filling you can that, see. Oh, that way, wasn't it? That way? So it means yeah, that, that the ditch was open oh. when that tile was knocking around. So it could be Iron Age. If I'm right, then <laughs> this hill was occupied about a thousand years before the chapel uh. was built. Francis decides <laughs> to put in one more trench around the enclosure to find out if it is Iron Age.